What you're looking at here is my Dreamforce payroll worksheet and it begins with Max Klinger. Let's go ahead and click and drag the scroll bar and go all the way down to, well you can see it goes down to row 72. Let me go ahead and click and drag it so we can go back up to the top. And what I want to go over here is the print preview because what you see in the print preview is what's going to be coming out of your printer. So that way we're not wasting paper and printing off worksheets or even blank sheets that we don't want to put back into the printer. We can avoid all that. So to see what we're going to be printing before we actually print it, let's go ahead and click on the File tab, go backstage, go down to Print. You can use the shortcut keys Control p and there you go, the print preview. What you see here is what's going to be coming out of your printer. So if you don't like what you see, and go ahead and make the changes. And we'll talk about setting up printing areas in a later training video. Right now we want to keep it simple. And I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and scroll down to the bottom and you can see there's a total of two pages. To go to page two, you can either click on the arrow to go to page two, or, well, to go back and click on the arrow, you can go ahead and click in the box, type in a number, hit enter, and it'll take you right to that page, page one. And you'll notice, let me go ahead and click and drag to scroll up, that it doesn't print off the column labels, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, or the row headers, or the grid lines. If you want those to print off, well, let's go back, come up here, click on the page layout tab, and go over to sheet options. So right now we're viewing the grid lines. If I uncheck it, the grid lines disappear. Well, that's horrifying. And in fact, while we're looking at it, you can see this dash line that's going down in between columns J and K. Anytime you go to the print preview and you come back to the front stage, it's going to show you where the page breaks are at. So it's breaking here between J and K. So if I had text or extra columns that went over into K, it would break it off and print those on a separate page. So when I scroll down, now you see we got a horizontal page break. So it can only fit so much on page one, and then the rest of it goes on page two. So it's breaking after Lance Boyle. So if I want to be able to have it break maybe before Lance Boyle, then you can watch my training video on page breaks. I want to keep it simple here, but that's how it's breaking, just below Lance. In any case, let me go ahead and click and drag and scroll back up. Come back up here, so do you want to view the grid lines? Go ahead and say yes. Do you want to view the headings? If I uncheck that, oh, they disappear. I can't tell when I select the cell what cell I'm in. Well, I can't look up here and look at the column. I'd have to come all the way over here to the name box and go, okay, that's column J, great. So let's go ahead and bring those back up because I do want to see them. But do you also want to print them? Of course I do. And check grid lines as well. So when I go, you know, Control P, the shortcut keys to go back. To there you go. You see the print preview. Now I have my column headers, the column labels, and the row labels. Well, they're headers, but they're now as labels because you can see it's labeling or letting me know what row I'm on, row 12. And then I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and scroll down. And you got the zoom to page option. Click on it, and it zooms right in, so you get an up close and personable. Oh, that's huge. And so you can see, okay, everything looks good. And then when you're ready to go, you can go ahead and click print. But before you click print, you may want to choose how many copies you want, what printer you want to print on. You can print the active sheets. You can print the entire workbook or only those areas that you selected. So let's go ahead and go back. And if I select, let's do a teeny tiny area, something ridiculous and do control print and then change it from print active sheets to just the selection that we made, updates it, uh, okay, there you go. And then let's go ahead and scroll down just a bit, and let me come over here and scroll down. You can print on one side, if you have a duplex printer, print on both sides. Let me go ahead and click off, collate, portrait orientation, letter, custom margins, no scaling, and the page setup, which we'll go over in a later training video. Oh, and don't forget, if you do decide that you don't want to print every single page, maybe just pages one, two, three, and you got a total of 10 pages, then you can go ahead and do that. And go up to two there. In any case, it's going off the current selection. We can go back to the active sheet and we're back. Now, you may wanna change the grid line color that we're printing, if you'd like, it's your flavor. In any case, if you wanna change the color from black, let's go ahead and go down to options and select the advanced category and let's go ahead and click and drag and scroll down to and let's go down to display options for this worksheet and there's the grid line color okay it's not black it's gray let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow make it pop with red and then go ahead and click OK 
Oh, there you go. What you see here, let's do Control P, and that's what's going to come out of the printer if you have a color printer. Otherwise, well, what a waste. I have a black and white, and that's not going to work. And then, of course, you can go ahead and go back and change it, which is what I'm going to do, but you don't need to see that. In any case, let's terminate this video. <laughs> you're still watching. Oh, you're so absorbed. No, seriously, folks, it's over. Let's go back to automatic and click OK. OK, fine, if you won't turn this video off, I will. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.